we actually only see 0.0035% of reality. We go through life believing that we just perceive reality without any control over it. Neuroscience has now revealed that our brains not only perceive reality, but create it. Our brains perceive things through sensory signals. The signals your brain receives are the outcomes of something. So now it makes assumptions based on prior experiences or beliefs about reality. Based on that, it makes a prediction for what will happen in the future. Look at this illustration, for example. At first glance, this looks like a regular checkerboard with the regular pattern. But even though it looks like box A and B look like they are different colors, they are the same. Your brain created the illusion that box A and B are different colors according to your memory or expectation of the regular checkerboard pattern. It made a prediction and now you perceive that prediction as reality. Take a look at the rubber hand illusion as well. In this case, a rubber hand is placed in front of someone in a similar position as their real hand could be placed. Now the real hand and the rubber hand are being brushed simultaneously, causing the brain to perceive the rubber hand as an actual part of the body. Your assumptions are bound to a feeling. A feeling is bound to an emotion. Emotions are energy in motion. Each emotion has its own frequency, just like everything else in the universe. In quantum mechanics, there is something called the observer effect, which states that observing particles alters their behavior due to the wave-like nature of matter. That means that particles actually exist in multiple states simultaneously. The wave function collapses once a particle is being observed, and therefore it appears in a defined state, in which one of these multiple possible states it appears as depends on the observer. Changes in energy causes matter to change its state. Our third dimensional reality is the realm of the physical, the realm of matter. Reality doesn't observe you. You observe reality. You give energy to reality through your emotions, which are energy in motion. You focus your energy with your attention. Your reality exists in multiple states simultaneously. It appears in a defined state based on the state of being you observe it from. Your state of being determines your frequency. You can trick your brain into predicting a future of your liking instead of a future which is similar to your unfavorable past experiences. If you're someone who likes to visualize, visualize the reality you want and bring as many senses into this visualization as possible. Feel it to be real and maintain in that frequency after you're done. Your mind cannot differentiate whether something is imagined or experienced. Fun fact, feeling is the original sense. All the other senses evolved from it. How you feel is the most important part in this. That is because how you feel makes up the majority of your state of being, which is basically your frequency. The rest of your frequency or your state of being is determined by things like your thinking, your self-concept and so on. Basically everything that's happening internally within you. But not every thought you have becomes a part of your frequency. If it were like that, you would have manifested every single thought you ever had. But that did not happen, did it? That is because those thoughts did not have enough of your energy. Your energy is your emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. Only thoughts that are felt get into your subconscious mind, which controls your vibration. Frequency is the rate at which energy vibrates. Your state of being is the state from which you observe. It is the frequency you send out into the universe. If you visualize wealth, but you feel poor, then you are observing from an inner state of poverty. 
therefore your reality will appear in a defined state of poverty. Visualizations can be beneficial for manifestation, but it is your state of being that manifests because your inner state of being determines your frequency. The state in which matter appears to you is matching your frequency. Manifestation is not about the technique, it's about controlling your state of being. The technique does not do the manifesting, your state of being does. So, if your state of being is dependent on your outside reality, you will not manifest. Your reality will continue to be the way it is right now. If your state of being depends on whether or not your desire is already manifested in your external reality, then you are observing reality from a state of being that implies that you do not have whatever it is you want to manifest. Therefore, you not having it will be mirrored into your external physical reality. You can only have what you already have. You don't get what you want, you get who you are. You don't wait for something you already have to manifest. You have to have it internally before you can have it externally. The physical realm, which is your external physical reality, is a reflection of the mental realm, which is your internal reality. Once you have it internally, you will observe reality from a state of being that reflects your desired reality. That's when it manifests.